So I've been kind of dreading this video a little bit. I kind of dragged it out. I've had these things for a little while now. I picked them up from Walmart um, about like a couple months ago now, I believe. And I just haven't done anything with them. You don't have to worry though, because these things have a ridiculous amount of shelf life. Uh, as far as the eggs go, they're best by June of 2050. You know, by that time, hopefully I'll be dead. Uh, but we'll see. This says it's, it, this one's, this one's good till 2023. So I've got three more years on that if I wanted to drag it out a little bit more. And of course, you know, the ice cream sandwich, that's, that's probably got a little bit less of a shelf life. Nope, this, well, a little bit, 2022, or 2032, 2022, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm going to be eating freeze-dried food. I, I've never eaten freeze-dried food before. Like, this is, this is scrambled eggs with bacon freeze-dried and then you've also got some uh, pepperoni pizza with with cheese and sauce. That's uh, that's interesting. I actually have to put water in that. And then of course you got that that sweet ice cream sandwich, which I'm actually excited about this one. I'm I'm hoping this one's gonna be good. But uh, we're gonna start the day out with scrambled eggs. Currently, uh, it is like seven o'clock. Of sorts and uh, I'm actually gonna be needing to get to work here pretty soon so we're gonna we're gonna start cooking this thing up but first I need to boil water one cup of boiling water to be specific so let's do that <laughs> Okay, well it says you're supposed to enjoy it from the bag, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this thing, we're going to pour this hot ass boiling water into these scrambled eggs. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that smells so bad. Uh, uh, yeah, it would be a good idea to take this thing out. Do not eat that. That is bad. Do not eat. Oh man. Is there more than one? Is there just that? Okay. That looks so funky. Here, let me, let me give me a good look at that. The bacon's like, the bacon is like all at the bottom. It's, it's so interesting. This is so weird. Carefully add one cup. Boiling water, stir carefully and close the zipper. All right, here we go. Carefully. That was as careful as I could manage. Is that stir? I mean, yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna just keep on stirring. Guessing to just get it all rehydrated again. Which. I think that's good enough. And then close zipper. All right, there is a zipper on this thing, which is probably why it was so expensive. This is uh, a little weird for cooking eggs and bacon. Re you know, freeze dried eggs and bacon. Wait five minutes, stir again and reseal. Oh my God, you have to do so much. Okay, so I gotta wait another five minutes before I'm able to enjoy. <laughs> who take, who, who buys these things? Who buys these things? If, you know what? Hey, Google, set a five minute timer. Five minutes and we're starting now. Speaking of timers, to make sure you're scrubbing up thoroughly, just say, sing while I wash my hands. Thanks, dad. No problem. 
who actually buys these things? Who who buys these things and uses them on, on camping trips? I want to know those people because they're probably living the good life. We just brought a cooler with like like lunch meat and sandwiches and like those Kool-Aid pouches and like high C and stuff like that. We never had all this like fancy. I sound like an old person trying to explain. We never had to walk five miles. It was 30 miles to walk to the convenience store to pick up cigarettes for all Auntie uh, Clarice. I, I don't know. It's, it's a weird concept to me. I'm going to let that timer go off and then we'll be back. We'll stir it and then we'll let it stand for an additional four minutes. It says, wait five minutes, stir again, reseal, and then let it stand additional four minutes. Carefully drain excess water from pouch, stir and enjoy right out of the pouch. So it's gonna be a few minutes while we wait for that to happen. I'm gonna go get something to drink. Hey Google, stop that timer. Thanks. All right, it's time That's to- That's what I'm here for. I know what you're here for. You're here to obey me. Stop making this harder than it has to be, Google. Oh, this does not smell good. This does not, I think it's the bacon. I think the bacon is, is smelling really weird. I don't like the way that the eggs look. It's so watery. Oh, it's so watery. I'm not liking this already. I'm trying to like mix it as good as possible. There's not a whole lot of bacon in here. There's a lot of eggs, don't get me wrong. It's not like half filled though. I mean, it was at one point. All right, we're gonna, we'll let that stand another four minutes. Hey Google, start another four minute timer, damn it. Four minutes, starting now. Fuck yeah. Hey Google, stop it. Thank you. Glad you found me helpful. Oh my I God, anything I can do. shut up. Okay, well, oh man, it looks worse. I got some milk because I'm a baby bag bitch. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. You know what? We're gonna go drain the water out of this real quick, uh, as carefully as I can, because it does say to drain excess water. <laughs> oh, I should have took this spoon out first. This isn't like a challenge video where I have to like drink disgusting egg water. Ugh. Ew. 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 All right, that's uh, some excess water drainage. It's definitely not all drained, but you know what? That's probably as good as I'm gonna get it. That's disgusting. I don't want to. I don't want to look at that. Well, I think it's the bacon that's smelling disgusting. Cause honestly, the eggs don't look that bad, but they do look really watery. And I was expecting that with having to like put water into this in a lot. I'm really not gonna enjoy this. Ah. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, mmm. It doesn't taste bad, it just, the texture of it's so gross. The texture, oh. The texture of it, I'm a, I'm a texture eater. So like, if anything, it has like a weird texture to it, I can't. You know what, it tastes, okay. It's not, it tastes like, Really, really bland eggs with equally bland bacon. They, <laughs> uh, it doesn't taste like it was rehydrated. I did it according to the instruction. Five minutes, sir, again, reseal. Let's stick. Was I supposed to seal it for that last four minutes? Because it doesn't say that. I thought I was supposed to leave it. Maybe I wasn't supposed to leave it. If so... Maybe be a little bit more clear with your instructions. I can't imagine anyone would actually enjoy this. Maybe it's just me. We're gonna try and make this better. I'm gonna go get some salt and pepper. I totally forgot that I had this, but uh, my best friend uses this in like everything. This is Old Bay seasoning. It's supposed to make it just taste ridiculously good. But she's like, she always gets on me about like cooking food. 
She's like, all you gotta do is just grab some Old Bay. Grab some Old Bay and put that shit on everything and it's gonna taste real good like you hear. I don't know why I gave her that voice. She doesn't sound like that at all. I, I hope I put enough in there. You know what? It gave it flavor. But it doesn't change the fact that it's spongy. It's, I can't wait to try this. Well, we're gonna try it later. This was disgusting, and I'm going to go eat some cereal instead. So, I'll see you guys when we try out that pepperoni pizza. It's going to be a little bit later in the day. There'll probably be a little bit of light behind me since it's uh, not quite daytime yet, but we'll see you then. Okay, so I'm essentially forcing myself to do this as soon as possible. I'm on a lunch break right now from work. And I figured I'm really, really in the mood for pizza and I don't have enough time in order to cook an actual pizza, which is the DiGiorno's. So I'm kind of skimping out a little bit here. I kind of wish I would have just cooked the DiGiorno's earlier this morning. That way I would have been able to get here and have pizza. But you know what? It's no time to look back on the past and realize my mistakes. It's time for pepperoni and pizza with cheese sauce. Freeze dry. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's free dry. But, I mean, it's a thing. With, uh, I should probably read the instructions. Okay. Heating your By the way, this is what it looks like. Okay, beautiful. Uh, let's see. Omeal's bag. Okay, so open Omeal's bag and remove all contents. So, remove it. Oh, no. Wait, which one? Okay, so this is the heating pad. Heating pad inside. Okay. Uh, let's see. Add, add three to five ounces of any type of water. Okay. Water, 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 water. What the fuck is an ounce? I got water in the bag. Okay, so I put five ounces in here. So this mother better be hot. Let's see. Open heating pad and place oatmeal's bag in between pizza pouches. Seal quickly. In oh, oh, it's got like a little hole for steam. That's cool. You're damn right. Don't touch this shit. Just in case. This is really hard to get back in here. This is really hard to get back in here. Okay. So quickly. Oh, I hear it. Hey, Google. Start a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. And we're starting now. Yeet. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, okay, it's really not that bad. This steam is apparently incredibly hot, so we're gonna let it sit here. I'm just gonna wait. I got better things to do than sit here and wait. Okay, Google, shut up! All right. I'm actually- Sorry, I don't understand. Neither do I. Why are you still talking to me? I enjoy learning about you and about your world. When you ask me a question, it gives me a chance to learn new things. And learning is fun. Now, so Google can- Shut up! ...to know how satisfied you are with my response. How would you rate it if one's the worst and five's the best? Five. Thanks. Ah, that's really hot. Almost couldn't find my tongs for a second because I forgot that I put them in the dishwasher. It's so hot. Oh, oh yeah, it's, de it's definitely gonna be pizza. Oh man. Well, would you look at that? I'm gonna get a close up shot here. I mean, it, it's not, it doesn't look terrible. It's just, it's got some weird colors in it. Like, if you get like a really close shot, like look at that. Is it, maybe the camera doesn't do it a whole lot of justice, but it's like a thick doughy texture. Look at what the hell this thing is made out of. It's really bad for you, that's for sure. It's got a hell of a lot of carbohydrates. Not that I really care. I don't really watch what I eat a whole lot. That's bad on me, okay? You should probably watch what you eat. Do as I don't do. Or don't do as I... Don't do as I do, but do as you do when you watch me don't do. 
Just fucking watch what you eat, okay? Honestly, or whatever. I don't, I'm not your fucking dad. I'm not your fucking dad. I'm not your fucking dad. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not your fucking dad. Oh. Oh. You know what? <laughs> this is really good. It's kind of like a... This is definitely the personification of a shitty pizza. It's not great pizza. In fact, the cheese did not want to melt at all. And maybe I should have left it in for longer and let it steam. But I highly doubt that would have done anything. And I really didn't want to put it in a microwave. Uh, it is hot. It is hot. It's definitely hot. Like, at least room temperature lukewarm. So, I mean, I would probably not buy it again because it was stupid expensive however it is fairly decent so if you are going on a camping trip this isn't that bad so that you don't like if you don't have like electricity or something like that and you want to be able to like have some you know warm pizza essentially to, to to warm it back up you know this would be a good alternative or you could just eat pizza cold because who the hell doesn't like cold pizza? You know what? Some people don't like cold pizza and that's okay. And I'm not judging you, but fuck you. I have like a pizza tier list of sorts that I've made up for myself. And maybe one time I'll make like a, a video about that tier list, um, which actually sounds like a pretty de decent idea actually. But if I were to put this on that tier list, I think it would have to be in between um, like on the lower, lower spectrum of things. I would have to put it in between like Tony's party pizzas and like regular Tony's pizzas. I'm gonna get rid of this mess and then I'm gonna have some dessert because I'm just feeling like it. You know what I mean? And I really just wanna try this and I don't wanna wait any longer. So since I still have some time, we're gonna try this in just a second. Alrighty, so. I don't think you have to do anything with this. It's It literally says, ready to eat, no drip, no mess. Oh, it's in like an actual... Oh, it's in like an actual like wrapper thing. Meant for... Oh, that's so weird. Do they just like take the... Do they make these? They make these, right? It's almost like they just basically just like took a, a regular you know, ice cream sandwich from, like, Blue Bunny and, like, put it and freeze-dried it while it was in the package. I got it. I'm gonna... Oh! Oh, that is weird. Alright, well... It's so hard. That is so weird. It's almost kind of hard to eat. Because, like, it breaks off. Like, it chips. And, like, the ice cream part, like, melts really, really fast. But the cookie does not. The cookie's, like, so hard. The cookie's, like, ridiculously hard. I don't know. That's so weird. I'm gonna give you a close-up of this. I'm not gonna say it's bad because it's not. It's actually pretty decent. Um... I would definitely much rather have a real ice cream sandwich, that's for sure. I think the appeal of an ice cream sandwich is cold ice cream. It also gets stuck in your teeth really, really easily. It's just not all there for me. But that's that's pretty much going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you can think of any other... Maybe I'll go get some more, honestly. Uh, if you can think of any other freeze-dried food or anything like that that you want me to try and that you know of just let me know and I'll try to search it out there were more meals at Walmart so maybe I'll go and grab those just to give those a try as well because now I'm just interested in trying to figure out I think they I think this was their really like their only their only dessert one uh I could be wrong I might have just not been looking hard enough but I'm pretty sure this was their only dessert one but regardless, I'm going to clean this mess up, and I'm going to get back to work. So, again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to drink your water. Stay healthy. Do whatever you got to do. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.